In this video, you'll be learning the differences between a YouTube personal account and a YouTube brand account, how to check if your YouTube channel is a personal channel or a brand channel, and also how to switch from a personal channel to a brand channel without losing your videos, your subscribers, your views, or even deleting your channel. So if this is what you're looking for, let's go. Welcome. My name is Tokwe Aomashe. If you're new here and you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, how to use YouTube to grow your personal brand or business, or generally learn stuff about YouTube, then start now by subscribing and clicking on that bell so you don't miss anything. Now to the big question. What are the differences between a personal account and a brand account? I'll be sharing with you four differences. Number one, you can add managers to both a personal account or a brand account. You can add editors and all of that. However, with a personal account, you won't be able to transfer the ownership of your channel to anyone else in the future if ever you desire to do so. I've heard of people selling off their channels for whatever reasons, and that is only possible with a brand channel. Now let's go to number two. If you have a personal channel, that means that your channel name cannot be different from your Gmail name. Meaning if your channel is Topwest channel, for instance, and you send an email to someone, the person is going to get the email from Topwest channel instead of your real name. Now to number three, your channel picture cannot be different from your Gmail picture if you are using a personal account. However, if you're using a brand account, you can have a completely different picture on your channel, could be your logo, could be a picture with your friends, and that will be very different from the picture on your Gmail account. Now to number four, you cannot recover a deleted YouTube channel if it was a personal channel, okay? But with a brand account, there are ways to recover a deleted channel, whether intentionally deleted or mistakenly deleted. So those are the four differences. I know by now you've already realized that having a brand channel is the way to go. So I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to move a personal channel to a brand channel without losing your videos, your subscribers, or your views. Let's get right into it. First, I'm going to show you how to check if your channel is a brand channel or a personal channel. Now we are on another channel. This is a channel I just created for the fun of it to show you the difference. This is a personal account, for instance, and I'll show you by going to the settings. Now we are going to click on view advanced settings. And now you can see it's asking you to move channel to a brand account. So this is obviously a personal account. Now I'm going to show you what you're going to see if your channel is a brand account. On my main channel here, I'm going to click on the channel icon at the top right on settings down here and then when you get to this part click on view advanced settings again now what you're going to see when you get to this part is move channel to your google account or to a different brand account so it acknowledges that it is a brand account but you can move it to a different brand account okay that is also possible and it's also possible that your channel is not your main gmail channel you could have multiple channels so in that case you will see something like move to your google account and it's also possible you don't see move to your google account but you will definitely see move to a different brand account meaning that it is a brand account itself now we are back on the personal channel and this is the channel we want to switch to a brand account and this is the process but before we go into that i want to give you two warnings when you switch you would lose all your comments okay you are losing your comments, the replies you made to people's comments, your original comments, but every other comment on your channel by your viewers are going to be intact. Number two, you would lose your customized URL. If you already claimed your customized URL, after switching to a brand account, you are going to lose that URL. However, you can claim it back by contacting YouTube support and you get it back within a few days or thereabout and so it's not much of an issue so this is the best time actually to make the switch and the earlier you do that the better now if these conditions are okay by you let's go straight into making that switch now if you're getting value so far hit that like button and let me know so you click on your channel icon at the top right corner 
scroll down to settings and here you click on create a new channel what you want to do in this step is to create a brand new youtube channel this time around it will be a brand channel and then we can move all our assets from the personal account to the brand account watch me click on create a new channel type in the brand account name i'll call this talkware brand channel good so we have our brand channel now our next step now is to go back to the personal account come here to the channel icon and click on switch account so we are going back to the first channel now click on your icon again and click on your channel so we are back to the personal channel what we want to do now is go back to the settings down here and click on view advanced settings you can see here move channel to a brand account this is what we are going to do now of course youtube wants to be sure you are the one taking this decision so just confirm by typing in your password okay we have arrived on the page where we are going to make the move and here you can see the current channel has one subscriber one video so this is where we want to move our personal channel to. This is the brand channel we just created. So we click on that. And you can see here that this channel has zero subscribers, zero videos. And so this is the channel we want to delete and override with the personal channel. Let's do that now. And now we are back to see that the content is moving to a brand channel, top by brand channel with one subscriber, one video, no playlist. You can see here now that the information is now the same and that is perfect. So click on move channel. So here we can read that your channel name and icon will be updated across YouTube as you can see. And then your channel URL, that's your personal channel URL will not change. Some comments cannot be transferred. That is your comments cannot be moved which I told you earlier, and we are fine by that. So let's move the channel. That's it. Now we are going to wait for a few minutes for this process to be completed. So just click on OK. And what we can do now is just close the channel and log in again after a few minutes. So we come to the icon at the top here and click on your channel. Now, can you see that the elements of the personal account has moved to the brand account? Okay, now you got this and it's time for you to go and make that switch. By the way, if your channel is not properly set up and well optimized, you want to check my tutorial on how to step by step create a powerful YouTube channel and the optimization settings that a lot of people overlook. You want to make sure that you have those on your channel and you are maximizing your results. So check at the end of this video or in the card up here and watch the video immediately after this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video and until then keep showing up and keep crushing it. Bye.